Okay, real quick, I want to talk about the word woke and why I hate it. Firstly, nobody knows what the word woke means. It's just an amorphous term that niggas, it's a buzzword that conservatives use whenever they see black people or gay people or women in, in media and shit. Anything that has to do with minorities apparently is woke. Now, what's the connection between wokeness, being woke, and minorities? Hell if I know. And the fucked up part is, woke was, it started off as a a slang term that niggas, and when I say niggas, I mean black people came up with, uh, which basically just meant being aware or being conscious, you know? Being conscious is like a big thing in, in the black community. And uh, the white people picked up on that and started misusing the fuck out of it. You know, when we originated the term being woke or being conscious or being aware is supposed to be a good thing. It's supposed to be something that you are aspiring to. But they've bastardized it and turned it into uh, another word for SJW, basically. And to be fair... Uh, I feel like woke is like a, a kind of cringe word to say anyway. It was a cringe word when it first came out in the first place. And that's kind of why uh, we as niggas don't really use it that much. Uh, white dudes with uh, black shades on and, and a baseball cap in their pickup trucks use the word woke more than we do. And I find that kind of funny. But I just don't like the idea of uh, anytime something has minorities in it, it's woke. Like when when She-Hulk comes out because it's saying it's a a show. I'm sorry, I don't know how to talk. It's a show about a female lawyer dealing with female lawyer things. That's woke because it's a woman and they're talking about woman problems and that's woke, which means it's bad, apparently. Or when black people have a show or a movie that's focusing on uh, black people's issues or it won't even have to focus on it. It can even mention it. Just a black person being in uh, media and they just make a mention of him being black or of uh, black issues or anything that has to do with uh, the black experience then it turns into woke and now it's terrible and I, I feel like that's goofy as hell I feel like niggas need to stop calling everything with niggas and white people uh, white women and Muslims and all other types of minorities we need to stop calling it woke it's not woke and also those people being in media and having media focusing on their issues and talking about their issues is not a bad thing. It, it can be a good thing. And I understand how sometimes it can be a bad thing. And the perfect example of this is that one scene in, on Endgame when all the women superheroes came together and did the big girl power thing. I, I know it was cringe. I thought it was cringe too. But, you know, it's it, what these people are complaining about isn't that. What these people are complaining about is stuff where minorities are being represented and they don't like it it's woke and it's crazy to me and these people don't understand that representation is important and putting black people and putting gay people and putting trans people in you know making forced diversity isn't always a bad thing if the story is good if the 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 story they're telling is a a intriguing story it's an interesting story that people want to follow, then that's not bad. It's it's good, actually. The, the best example I can think of is uh, Static Shock, right? For black people, we see Static Shock as like one of the most classic best cartoons from when we, we grew up, especially if you're a millennial. And it, it, it's not 
in any small part uh not about him being black right because static shock on its own is a pretty good show it has some pretty good writing it has some good animation it's an entertaining show on its own uh but for us it just it, it's just that much better because of the positive representation of black people uh in the superhero genre which is it was kind of rare back then it's not anymore but it was kind of rare back then and i think that that's a good example of um, uh diversity being done correctly and uh when it let's look at another example of stuff they call woke where they turn one character from being one race into another race and the ones they the only ones they complain about is when it's a white person being changed into some someone else or a straight person being changed into some someone else I, i'm starting to notice the pattern here I've never seen these people crying about a black character turning into a straight white man or a, a woman character being turned into a straight white man you never see anybody calling that shit woke and uh what i also don't like is the reasoning behind people complaining about it is well you know they, they want to make sure you know they're not racist they're gonna say i don't hate black people i'm not saying it's bad to put black people or gay people or whatever in uh in media I just want them not to be shoehorning it in for no good reason. And the question I have is, what's a good reason to include minorities? What's a good reason that uh, people haven't already said is the reason that they're doing it? Is just pure representation not a good reason to change somebody into a minority character? Like, nobody's ever explained it to me. Why do black people... I'm speaking specifically of black people because I'm black, but the, uh, it, this can apply to other ones too, other minorities too. But why do we have to explain our existence? <laughs> to, you know what I'm saying? It, we have to explain why we're there. Like, it's okay if you got black people in it, but why, though? You got to explain why black people... As if black people don't just exist. As if gay and trans people don't just exist. Like, it's okay to just include people because we exist in the world, you know? And, and that can be it. It don't have to have no other deeper... Uh, no deeper reason behind that. It can just be that. It, I'm just tired of everything that... I just don't want to hear this shit being called woke no more. It's not woke. If I want to make a character and I make him black instead of white, that's not woke. That's just a creative decision I made. Why do I have to fucking explain this to you?